So let's say you want to create a desktop application, except you don't know C or C++ or Rust, and you don't want to learn any of those disgusting compiled languages. So at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, I want to make a desktop application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Well, if you look this up online, you'd probably see a whole bunch of stuff recommending Electron. If you've used VS Code, Ulauncher, or Atom, you have used Electron. But Electron is a massive ram hog because it's based on Chromium. Luckily, there's a solution. Neutralino. Neutralino works in a similar way to Electron, except instead of using Chromium, it uses your operating system's built-in HTML framework, which is much lighter. Also, Neutralino has better access to OS APIs and is by far easier to deal with. Really, the only disadvantage is that you can't use Node.js. So enough blathering. Let's get to the code. First things first, install the Neutralino NPM package globally. Then go to the folder where you want to set up the app and type new create and the name of your app. Open this folder and run new listen. This will open a new window which will have the default Neutralino app. It also reloads the app every time you make a change to any of the files which makes the testing process way easier. If you go through the files you'll see index.html and under assets you'll see Neutralino.js, app.js, and app.css. Don't touch Neutralino.js. This is the core library. In app.js you can delete everything here and replace it with your own code. Same with app.css. To start your app, you just have to run neutralino.init. If you want a function to run once the app has loaded, you can add an object inside it with a function called load. Neutralino has these things called superglobals, which let you get information about the current runtime. For example, nl underscore os gets the name of your current operating system, and nl underscore version gets the current version of Neutralino. It also has a useful API for file storage, object storage, and information about the computer. This is all great and all, but you're probably wondering how to debug it. There are two options. The one I recommend is to go to settings.json and set enable inspector to true. However, this only works on Linux, so if you're not on the best operating system or you prefer your favorite browser's dev tools, you can set the mode to browser instead. In this file, there are also a few other parameters you can change, such as the app icon, app title, and window size. Whew. That was a lot. So take a deep breath, and let's get to compiling your app! You probably want to package this app into a neat little bundle that anyone can download and run really easily. Well, all you have to do this is run new release, and it will generate you some binaries. Make sure to disable debugging first. Also, you'll probably want to write a custom install script because these binaries require the folders around them. One last thing, when a new version of Neutralino comes out, you'll probably want to update your app to do this. To do this, just run new update, and that's it! Thank you to everyone for watching, I'll put a link in the description to the docs where you can learn all the details, and remember to close the fridge.